There's a phrase that many mathematicians know, the unreasonable effectiveness of mathematics. It's a title of a famous paper by Eugene Wigner. And my whole career has been basically a ratification of this by observing that there's quite sophisticated and interesting and deep mathematics that at the same time has implications for daily life and in most cases very positive implications once you understand it and know how to use it. I've been at Stanford since 1990 and in the statistics department that whole time. We teach a large number of students in basics, ranging from probability theory and mathematical decision theory, all the way through very detailed, specific, innovative areas where there might be just a few students interested. I found math fun because I had a teacher who liked to organize arithmetic races where the children would race to the board and try to do a, an arithmetic problem quickly and then run back and hand the chalk to the next child on the team. To me, that was a lot of fun. Many people who know my work would recognize that it's concerned with the digital transformation that's taking place as more and more of human activity becomes subject to measurement and documentation, generating data, signals, images. The role of mathematics is in developing new representations for those data. One implication is that there are methods for removing noise from images. Another implication is that you can speed up the data collection when it's being collected in a mathematically sophisticated way. The idea that's exploited in compressed sensing MRI is that if you make coded measurements, of a nature that is very mathematically sophisticated, then each measurement can learn about a wide swath of the image in a very diffuse way. And so you don't actually need to make one measurement per pixel or one measurement per voxel. With those fewer measurements, you are gathering data for a shorter period of time. The benefit to patients is that it's more convenient to them to get a quicker result. And if you'll only pay attention to what the mathematics does to the data, you may learn something that's very useful for humanity. I think that's a nice philosophy. Digital transformation is going to go very far. We've underestimated it consistently, but I am actually genuinely inspired by the possibility of using the ideas that I've been able to learn and work on and develop in some effective way to help people.